Hey everyone, um, first of all, it's really good to see you guys <laughs> and sorry that we've been so quiet the last couple months. Uh, as some of you may know, in July of 2021, I started having some health issues and basically I've just been kind of battling through that. Um, and I still am battling through that, but I'm in a much better place today and we wanted to share a really exciting update with you guys. Uh, this morning, actually, April dropped me off here at the shop and I got to ride my e-commuter bike back home four miles and it was the first time I had pedaled in seven months. First time in seven months, it feels and good. It just felt so good. We got really excited and I think we're kind of on the path towards getting life back and we just wanted to share an update with you guys. We really apologize for being so quiet. We didn't really know how to share what was going on because it was like this super crazy emotional and physical roller coaster and it was emotional for both of us. You know, we started this channel in 2020 and then in 2021 April quit her job and we were just gonna like go full-time into this thing we bought the shop we wanted to have a studio set up so we could produce more content and um, yeah we even got a van already to travel for the summer and then when I got sick it just kind of like stripped everything away and then the scariest part was my health has been like a roller coaster and there would be a week or so where I feel really good I'm like okay I think I'm making progress and we're getting closer to getting back to normal and then I would have a relapse and my body would just shut down and get super inflamed and I'd just be in chronic pain. So it sucked because I didn't really know when I was gonna break out of the cycle that I was in. And I was just stuck at that for months. And so like, I didn't know if I would ever get my life back. Um, and it was really scary. And April kind of felt the same way. Like we didn't know if we would ever get our life back. And that was kind of the scariest thing. But um, in January, I started working with some new doctors and started doing hyperbaric oxygen therapy which is basically 100% oxygen in like this giant pressurized tube. And we've been doing that um, five days a week for, it's an eight week program and this is week six for me. And my body has like made such a huge improvement. It's been amazing. I would say it kind of brought me from about 70% to about 95%. And I'm obviously out of shape because I was just like in bed for seven months. But um, yeah, I feel, I feel really good and I'm really excited. And so today we just wanted to do a little update as you can see behind us, um, we've made some progress on the shop as well. And then April wanted to share a few things like some plans moving forward, but overall we're just excited to be in a better place right now and getting back to our normal life. <laughs> this video is the start of our return and we have it all planned out for the next few months of a schedule for us to... <laughs> planned out, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know if we can plan anything anymore. <laughs> well. We have a plan. <laughs> yeah. We have a plan for the next few months of content for us to film for you guys and events to go to. We plan on Sedona and Sea Otter so I can finally go to events um, yeah. and see you guys and check out these cool places that I've always heard about. And we also get to use our van that we worked so hard to build <laughs> and finally get to see you guys. It's been a big lead up over the last few years yeah. to finally do this and I'm really excited about it. Yeah and one of the first videos that we're gonna do is actually this weekend I'm gonna build up an electric mountain bike which I'm really excited about so we're gonna do that on Saturday so hopefully either Sunday or early next week we'll go on our first mountain bike ride and we'll be able to film that which will be really exciting and then leading into Sedona I'm hoping since there's no electric mountain bike trails that are kind of legal in Sedona I'm hoping that we can ride enough and get back enough to like join a group ride, maybe like a shuttled group ride or something there. Um, but regardless, if I can ride or not, then April will join some group <laughs> rides and do some fun things there, which would be cool. Yeah. Um, and also, April's been working on a podcast desk, which we have the studio upstairs we've been working on, which is exciting. And <laughs> Yeah, I've spent a lot of time on this and I made my own little version of a, <laughs> a manual uh, with numbers and everything. I built it the 3D and SketchUp, I have it all planned out OCD style to hopefully make a fun video out of it. Yeah, and if we build it and if it works, then we'll give you guys the plans for free. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> if you want to make a podcast, us. Yeah, so that's kind of what's next on the horizon, at least short term. Um, I don't know what the long term will hold. Obviously, we had a lot of plans last year that didn't come to fruition, but I think that as long as we can get through the next month of treatment, keep getting better, and just get the health back that's really all that matters at the end of the day i think that's what this year has taught me and april probably more than anything is that health is greater than wealth any day of the week like i'd trade anything to be healthy again um, and i know a lot of other people that are in the same boat so yeah it's just been honestly it's been really hard but it's also been a really um, 
transformative experience for both of us just in gratitude and understanding our place in life and just I don't know just wanting to do a good job right because at the end of the day like we're this big and we just want to help other people as much as we can and hopefully just do a good job of helping people enjoy their life more and get a positive outlet because it's really hard when you don't have anything positive to look forward to and I know biking has been such a great asset to my life and to April's life and it's given us a lot and I'm just excited to hopefully share that with other people. So, And we're so thankful for the support that you guys have continued to show us while we've been down. Yeah. We see all the comments of you guys checking in on us and saying we haven't forgotten about you and we haven't forgotten about you either. Yeah. Um, our Patreons and our sponsors have been really great and so helpful to us. And yeah. Surprisingly, none of our sponsors dropped us, which we were really worried about because we couldn't really produce anything. So everyone stood behind us, which was great. And it allowed us to just focus on like getting healthy instead of worrying about also losing everything. We were really scared that we were going to just like lose everything. Um, but because people were supportive, then we were able to kind of keep going, which is, yeah, I'll, you'll never understand how much we appreciate it. And yeah, huge thanks to the Patreons, huge thanks to our sponsors, and also anyone that bought some merchandise to help us out. That's been just really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening to our update and sticking with us for the last seven months. I know a lot of you guys, have, like April said, have been so supportive and it means a lot to us. And we're just excited to kind of be working our way back. And today when I was out pedaling and riding home, I just was so stoked and I can't wait to kind of get back to normal and just have more fun with you guys, share some fun experiences. and. Like I said, this whole experience has really helped shape our perspective on things, and I think it'll help us be stronger moving forward as a couple and then also just as people and as a channel. So yeah. we're really excited and really appreciate you guys a ton, and we'll talk to you soon, hopefully next week. <laughs> we'll have an e-bike build video, and then the week after, we'll go riding. So that'll be exciting. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye.